I don't know if you've ever tried making pulled pork in the slow cooker, but it is just the best way to cook it. It's such a more efficient way than doing it in the oven and just look how juicy and delicious and tender it goes. I love making this up, putting it in buns and also it's a great recipe to freeze too. So let me show you how to make gluten-free pulled pork in the slow cooker. To start off with, you're going to put a piece of pork into the slow cooker. Now, I'm going to pop all the ingredients down below with the quantities, but we want to create a really nice tasty sauce to go on this. So I've used brown sugar and I'm using chipotle paste because I really like having a bit of spice to this recipe. I've also got some vinegar. I've got tomato ketchup. So we're creating a sort of spicy barbecue flavor and a bit of honey for extra sweetness. And then I'm going to rub this in. Make sure that piece of pork is completely covered in the sauce and get it nice and coated. And then it's simply a case of popping the lid on, letting it cook. And look, there we have it. That is how simple it is to make pulled pork. Now we need to pull the pork. So as you can see, it's just falling apart. And I like to keep it with all the juices because it just makes the pork taste so good. And it's really, really tender. So what you can do is if you are not going to eat all of this now, you can actually let it cool down and then you can put it in the freezer in portions. But I've decided that I'm going to have mine in pulled pork baps. So these buns are actually, I think, the Shah hamburger buns, which are really good. They're one of my favourites and I find them in Asta. And then I'm topping my pulled pork with some coleslaw and I've got a bit of salad on the side. But you could chuck anything you like in there. These are great for like a barbecue or kind of one of those meals when you want to have people around and you want something effortless to cook. So if you haven't tried making slow cooker pulled pork, give this recipe a try. Like it and subscribe for more recipes and I'll see you again soon. Mm -hmm.